Welcome to the homework for lesson 17. It's module four of grade two. Get your name on there first. And we've got a lot of uh, unit form puzzles for you in this one. Four ones plus how many other plus what else equals a 10? You need six ones. Now, this is in unit form. So make sure your answer is in unit form. There were just if you write just a six, then it's not that's not really what should be there. That's where you write just a six. So four tens plus six tens, and now you see why you had to write in the ones. That's forty plus sixty, and one ten is seven ones plus three ones, which is 10 equals three plus seven. And we can do that with ones. We can do it with tens, right? If ones can add up to tens, then tens can add up to hundreds. So this is three, instead of three ones, it's three tens. It's 30 plus 70 being a hundred. One ten more than nine ones. One ten more than nine ones equals one ten nine ones. Sometimes it's just easy. Ten plus nine is nineteen. One hundred more than nine ones equals one. 100 nine ones 109 100 more than nine tens is one hundred nine tens which is 190. Two ones plus eight ones. This is all this unit. It's all this uniform is just to kind of get you used to thinking about the digits and making sure you adding place the right place values together. Two ones plus eight ones is a ten. Two tens plus eight tens is ten tens. But it's also ten tens is also a hundred. And sometimes it's easier to go over to number form or standard form and then go back. So let's see how that goes. Five ones plus six ones, that's eleven, right? Five plus six, that's eleven, which is a ten and a one. So sometimes it's better to do it do it like that. Um 50 plus 60, that's 110, right? Which is 100 and 110. ones plus four ones is, that's a 10 and eight ones, right? Because you're adding the four ones and the four ones. 14 plus four is 18. And so this 140 plus 40 is 180. 14 tens plus four tens is 108 tens. Six ones plus five ones is a 10 and a one because that's 11. And six tens and five tens, that's 110, so it's 110. Five ones plus seven ones, that's 12. So it's a 10 and two ones, 12. And if that's 12, then this is 120, which is 102 tens. Nine ones plus eight ones, that's gonna be this, which is 17. That's a 10 and seven ones. 
And if we do the same thing with tens, then we're going to have 107 tens for 170. And now finally, filling in the blanks of the arrow way, and then complete the addition sentence. The first one is done for you. So here's an example right here. And we know what we're adding. So we can figure out our, our partial sums on the way. And then we can figure out how much was it we had to add by totaling together everything that we added. So here we're adding 10 and 10 and 2. That's 22. And let's see, 78 plus 2, that's 80. 80 plus 10, that's 90. And 90 plus 10, that's 100. 78 plus 22 is 100. That's it. Now that you've seen an example, try the rest on your own. Pause it, and then you can watch the rest and check it. Let's see, we're adding 10, 20, 30... 100, that's 130, and 9, so we're adding 139. 1, 39, and now this is how easy it is to do the arrow way. 61 plus 9 is 70, and then we're 80, and then 90, and then 100, and another 100 is 200. That's why we use the arrow way, we're just adding 10s and 1s and 100s. You can put together any number you want. So here we've got, we're adding 100, we're adding 70, and we're adding 3, so we're adding 173. This 7 and 3, that's a 10, so that gets us to 30. Well, that's 70. 30 and 70 is 100. And 100 and 100 is 200. So 27 plus 173 is 200.